Long before students don a cap and gown, they put pencil to paper to prepare for the SAT. The SAT is a college entrance exam and it's used by most universities and colleges for admittance. The test consists of an evidence-based reading and writing portion worth 800 points and a math portion worth 800 points for a total highest score of 1,600. There's also an optional essay. The SAT is generally um, taken by juniors and seniors, but actually there is an entire suite of assessments related to the SAT. They're all grade level appropriate and they all build up toward performing on the SAT. Eighth grade students take the PSAT to establish a baseline score and retake the test in ninth grade. Then there's also the PSAT and MSQT, those letters stand for National Merit Qualifying Test. That's usually taken by all 10th graders and then by juniors who are interested in qualifying for the National Merit Scholarship. Free specialized instruction is available thanks to a partnership with the nonprofit organization KhanAcademy.org and the College Board, creators of the SAT. Khan Academy is a free online practice format where students can find out what their scores are on the PSAT, go in, and based on their own scores, get individualized adaptive practice. Higher scores may assist students in getting accepted into their preferred college or university, or may help them earn scholarships. Some tips for the night before and the actual test day. No matter what test you're taking, it's always important to get a good night's sleep, to, to be prepared and rested, and, and to have breakfast so that you're ready to attack the test and do well. For more info on the SAT and how to prepare, go to palmhschools.org slash college readiness.